that turbo takes a second to kick in. Yo, yo, what up, you two? It's your boy Denali, aka Don Squally, back at you with another video, man. In this one, we have another request from our homie, Mr. Stan Stout, and he wants to see a Veloster Turbo. So, what we're gonna do is jump into the bike car section of Forza 6 because that's what we're playing today, man. And we are gonna get in here and buy the Hyundai veloster turbo now we do already have the genesis coupe which we did build and put up on the channel so if you guys want to see that go ahead and check that out but we're gonna get into the veloster today man now, i see these things all over the place and i always wondered how fast they are so today in a video game at least we are gonna find out now let's see if we can find oh the red bull scheme looks pretty dope let's see if we can find something cool oh the chrome how does that work i don't even know how they get that chrome but that is a i don't know that's a cool little scheme they got going on there oh i like that i do like that for whatever reason i like that another one of the red bulls i'm sure there must be some kind of a oh the falcon there must be some kind of a red bull rally car um, um that i'm missing or a race car it looks like a lot of race car setups for whatever reason I like this, man. Let's go for it. This kind of this this uh, little scheme they got going on here kind of makes it look like the the juke. You know what I mean? And I am a Nissan fan, so let us buy our Hyundai Veloster, man. So if you guys are the new to are you, if you guys are new to the channel, not the new to the channel. If you guys are new to the channel, and you guys want to see more. This is your 2013 Hyundai Veloster Turbo. Oh, well, thank you. Well, thank you. And you guys want to see more, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And, uh, you know, we're doing this shit all the damn time. And as well, if you guys want to see some other videos, make sure you check out the channel because we got all kinds of builds already out, man. So those should keep you guys entertained. So let's jump in here. Obviously, the engine swap. Now, I'm predicting V8 swap. <laughs> i6 the turbo rally 3.7 liter v6 i don't know is that i, I know the 3.8 is what comes in the uh genesis but mm, i don't know what that is out of but we are not gonna even fuck with that rear wheel drive or all wheel drive now all wheel drive would definitely definitely be something uh but you know what because it is a hyundai I want to keep it front wheel drive, man. I don't know too many all wheel drive Hyundai's out there running the streets, so we are going to keep it stock. Now, let's see what we got going on. That diffuser, a little bit too much for my liking personally. You guys let me know what you think. Uh, I think I'm going to leave it the way it is. Let's see. Spoiler. Eh, the spoiler. Yeah, it's pretty big. If it was a little smaller, maybe just a lip that went along the top. I think we could fuck with that, but we're going to leave it the way it is. Now, let's get into some tires. Now, because I do want to race this, I'm going to put on a nice race tire compound. Because, um, I, I, you know, I want to get this thing out there. I want to be turning some heads. And uh, I would like to see a nice dish on this, man. So let's see if we can skip through here. Find ourselves a dish. Now, as usual, them classic ATS is always given a nice dish. Uh, let's see what else we got in here. I do like the uh, the street lock too, the Bonneville series as well. A nice dish, a nice dish on that. Uh, uh, uh. I was kind of feeling those classics, man. I don't know about you guys. Yeah, yo, let's jump into those classics just for shits and giggles, man. These are one of my favorite wheels. I got these on a couple of my builds. I can't lie. I love these things. So let's boost up that rim size. Now, how, how, how high are we going? 19? Oh, shit. This thing's got a big wheel well for a Hyundai. A 19-inch wheel doesn't even look that big on it. Uh, let's jump into the back. Boost that, that up to a 19 as well. Now, this is looking kind of like a SUV. I don't know about that wheel gap and that... You know, we're, I'm hoping we can slam this mofo. So let's check it out. Uh, drop that race clutch because I want to get some speeds going. And normally we do a differential, but this is front wheel drive, so I'm not too worried about it. 
Boost up those brakes. Boost up. Ah, that's what I'm talking about. Now that is looking nice and sick. Matching our rims, our wheels. That's actually, you know, we got to go a little bit lower. I'm hoping we can go a bit lower. Front wheel drive. We want some stability. Faux show. Make sure we take care of those anti roll bars front and back. Uh, we're going to leave it to stock weight because I wouldn't mind seeing it uh, as stock as possible. Now, let's take care of our engine. As you can see, it's got quite a power peak uh, at that low end range. So what we're going to do is see if we can boost up that turbo and make it a little more power up in the higher end range, man. Cams, I think, are going to help that. Oh, that's going to bring our red line way out there. You know what? I'm going to leave that red line the way it is. Uh, but I am going to boost up our displacement. Now, let's see if we can toggle and actually get a... Nah, it's not going to tell us... Not going to tell us our displacement right here, it doesn't look like. Unless I'm just completely missing that. But what we're going to do is boost up the displacement. Hafosho. Is it going to tell us there? No, no, it ain't. We're going to have to go back. And let's go in here and do our turbo. Oh, that is kind of strange. As you can see, it's not going to kick in till a little bit farther in the RPM range. But we going to do that shit anyways, man. Let's drop a sick little clutch in there. And what I like to do, you guys already know that I like to bring it to the top of whatever class it's in. So this is a B class right now. So let's see if we can keep it at the top of B class. Now, I was not aware that this engine was going to be so low in power, even with full turbo upgrades. However, um, I did say that I want to keep this as, uh, you know, with the stock engine block and that's what I'm going to do. So we are just going to max it out to the B class here and call it a day. Look at that. 5.97. We just, we just winning. So that is looking pretty good. I think that's all right, man. We're, uh, we're at a position here where, yeah, I'm thinking that's going to be good. So let's jump into the tuning section and uh, see what we can do about this suspension now i did leave the gears the way that it is but because we do have the stock uh, motor and power plant in it i think that the gears ratios are gonna be pretty good for us uh, so let's jump in here look at how much lower we can go in this game man let's do that and let's put a little bit of negative camber on our tires man let's see how this biatch looks back it on up yeah man that is looking super fresh i'm liking that little scheme man you know it looks kind of like it looks like it's got some uh some fender flares on it with the carbon fiber i'm liking it man kudos to the builder of that so use let's all the jump cars in. and track to the test track and uh which track we're gonna do let's go to the top gear test track today man you guys already know my favorites top gear and that airfield gotta be my favorites in here let's do the full circuit day with no rain i don't want any rain hindering our performance four laps no no you guys know no contenders we're just out here having fun testing this bad boy out mm. Sipping home that steam whistle. So once again, if you like guys like this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. It definitely helps out the channel. If you guys want to see any kind of specific build, drop it down in the comments because at this point in time, we are taking requests because we can, man, and uh, because we got love for our subscribers. So make sure you do that down in the comments section, and uh, we're gonna make sure that we get to that. Oh yeah! Listen to that turbo. 
lovely little whistle. Not a not a hard blow off valve. Nice little whistle, like like a little budgie in the engine. You know what I mean? I'm loving it. Coming around that turn. Always getting on the grass. Woo! Not a bad little build, I gotta say. Now Hyundai's been doing some great things lately with their cars. They do have the V8 powered Genesis sedan, which is absolutely insane. I believe Evan Shanks reviewed it on YouTube. One of his friends had one with a full exhaust. Sounded like a fucking Mustang, man. I'm not gonna lie. Now, obviously, Hyundai's always been one of those brands that, uh, in my eyes anyways, it's been lower, like Kia and stuff like that. Um, they're, to me, they've never been very reliable and very performance-oriented, I should say, would be probably a better choice of words. I've never seen them as performance vehicles, but uh, damn, they have definitely stepped it up. Um, but that's just the way that car manufacturers are going. Like Ford, Ford has had their performance vehicles like the Mustang and stuff like that and the Taurus SHO, um, you know, and their SVT line of, of vehicles. And, but nowadays, even their, their just every vehicle on their line, you can get a, a turbo model, the Escape, the, uh, the, the Taurus, you know what I mean? That EcoBoost, the Fusion, the Yes, that every one of their vehicles, pretty much, I'm pretty sure, has some form of EcoBoost Turbo in it, which can be heavily modified very easily. Um, so that's just the way of the future, man. Our, all car manufacturers, even Kia, man. My boy J Max uh, on YouTube, he had just bought a, a Kia. Uh, I forget what it is. Optima, that's what it is. And it is pretty fly, man. I've seen it in person in the cockpit. It's like a goddamn revolution, man. It's sick. Uh, but this is a nice little build we got going on here with the Hyundai. Just listen to that whistle. that e-brake this thing is a little beast man let's do a little bit of a launch here the front to, to, to drive let's do a little bit of a launch here shall we that turbo takes a second to kick in nice and smooth beautiful beautiful shifts I gotta say Now let's pull off here and take a little photo shoot at our favorite spot. You guys already know how we do with the planes and shit. And we are gonna probably call it a wrap after this. So if you guys enjoyed this video or wanna see any kind of specific build, make sure you drop that down in the comments because we are always taking requests. And uh, if you guys wanna play on Xbox One, I don't know if I mentioned that in this video yet, uh, make sure you uh, drop your gamer tag down in the comments section and um, or add me up at D-O-N-S-Q-U-A-L-E on uh, Xbox One and uh, PlayStation 3. And uh, shit, that's about it, man. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this build video. And uh, I just want to say thanks for watching. We're going to catch you guys at the next one. Peace.